Hi guys, today we are going to go over how to make your own 100 envelope challenge box. Now, my envelopes that I will be showing you in today's video are Marvel style. We are a huge Marvel family, and so we are going to be making those. In this video, you will find what you need to make them, step by step how to make them, and three, we're gonna cash stuff those envelopes that I've already put money aside for. Before I begin with the process, I decided to make mock envelopes because I wasn't sure of what size to cut up the paper, and I did not wanna waste the paper if I wasn't sure of the size. So I'm gonna show you my nine samples, and I'm gonna cash stuff them so you can see what size you think you would like. We're gonna start off with the first column. These are two and three fourths of a quarter inch uh, width. So I'm going to cash that those with $8 bills in each one so you can see what it looks like. So let me first pull up this one, okay? Now when I open it up and I have $8 here and I stick them in, it's going to be tight, okay? So when you get your paper, this is technically two and three quarters of an inch this way and lengthwise it's five and a half so that's what it looks like it's going to be you know pretty tight and you have more of a gap here okay so that's the first one the second one is two and three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters of an inch so the difference is the length when you stick it in, it's going to be a little bit tighter. And you can see that there's a little bit of a difference in terms of seeing the bills at the top. So I'm gonna put that down there. We have the next one, which is two and three quarters of an inch by six inches. It will be a snug fit. Now the dollars do go a little bit further down, okay? and you see less of the bills. So now I'm gonna do the other columns. So yeah. that's what it looks like for the first column. You'll see you have more showing of the bills here and it goes less and less, okay? Now we're gonna go to the second one. This one is a little bit wider. When I put the money in, it goes in a little bit smoother, okay? Pull this one out, and we're gonna do the two seven eighths of an inch by five and three quarters. It goes in smoother. And then we're gonna do two seven eighths of an inch by six. You will find that this one, you see less of the bills. So I'm hoping this reference will help you out. We're gonna go to the next column. Okay, so this is three by five and a half inches, so it's gonna be a little bit wider, and it goes in very nicely. Okay. Then we have three by five, three quarters of an inch. And last but not least, three by six. As you can see, the top row, you will see the bills more. The second one is a little bit less of the bills. And then the last one, you'll see just a little bit of the bills. So I hope this helps. In my video though, I've chosen to go with this one. This is two and seven of an eighth inch wide by five and three quarters of an inch for length. I'm gonna go over what you need to make the envelopes. These are supplies that I use to make mine. The first item you'll need to make the 100 envelope challenge box is this laminator. Not this particular laminator, just a laminator. Mine is by Scotch. It's able to laminate three mil and five mil items. Next, you will need 
laminating sheets. They have three mil and five mil. I use three mil, and the reason why I did that is when you laminate the thicker one, it's going to have a tighter fit for your bills. Um, that's just a preference. You can make mock envelopes to see if you like the three mil or the five mil. In this video, I will be using three mil. The next item you'll need is a paper trimmer. This one is just from Walmart. It has a slider for the um, blade and then you can extend it so you can make longer cuts. And I will show you in the video what I use it for. The next item you need is the cardstock paper. I have the Spider-Man in the deluxe paper. It's pretty thick like cardstock. And then I bought the Avengers style. And those were the two I used in this particular video. You can get them from Michaels and if they're still available, I will link them in the description box. The next thing you'll need is a box for your envelopes. Now I bought this from Walmart. It's actually a Crayola box or a crayon box. I think it costs $1. Okay. The next item is optional. It's stickers for your envelopes. I decided not to do that. What I did was created this tracker and I will link my shop in the description box below. I made this 100 envelope challenge for $5,050 because it's gonna go from one to 100. I also created an optional one which is um, a $2,750 challenge. Same concept, 100 envelopes. I will link my shop in the description. Okay, so the first step is going to decide your measurement, which we have at the beginning of the video. I'm going to do two seven eighths of an inch by five and three quarters. I have a 12 by 12. So first I'm going to do four slices of paper long ways by two and seven eighths of an inch. And then those sheets will look like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you that and then we will continue on to the next step. I'm gonna line it up at two and seven eighths of an inch. I do have my mock envelope here because I wanna make sure I don't forget the measurements. So that's one. and I'm just lining it up three and flip it over and the reason why I flip this over here is because I know this is a straight line and this one may not be 100% straight okay. this is what I have left over from the cut. So now you have four strips of paper and now we're going to cut them for the length. I've extended my ruler here so I know where five and three quarters of an inch is located. Let me see if I can zoom you in. Okay. Remember, we're doing five and three quarters of an inch. Hold it steady and slice. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another cut. And if you were curious, the back of it has this on it. So you should have basically two envelopes per strip.
So I've cut up one 12 by 12 sheet of paper and you should have eight strips in total. All right, so we are going to do the next step. So, so far we've cut the 12 by 12 paper into four strips. Then we cut those in, not necessarily in half, but the length that we need it for. So next we're going to fold up these pieces of paper using the paper trimmer. I wanna thank Davina C for showing me this trick in a video she made a few months ago. You will need like a credit card or something flat to make this, you know, straight. So I am going to do this side. I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna get my little scraper and press it down. Then it should be nice. I'm going to do another one. I'm gonna flip it over on this one so you can see the other side. I like both on this particular piece of paper. Okay. I'm gonna Keep on doing this. I love Marvel. I don't know how many of y'all are Marvel fans. Leave me a comment down below. I know the Crafty Budger is. Um, because we always talk about Marvel when we comment on each other's video. So as you can see, we've made our eight envelopes. We need to laminate them next, and then we will continue on with the process. I'm going to warm up my laminator so we can see laminator that it's warming step. up. I'm going to show you how I put the envelopes in the sheets. And I cut some other ones because I didn't want to waste more of the laminating sheets because I only had eight and I can fit six on a sheet. And be careful if you get hair or something inside the laminating sheet because it will laminate together. So, a tip, I always do whatever side I need to cut for the opening, all the same way. So all the openings are at the top of each. So there's one, and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put that to the side. My laminator is ready, but let me do this last one. I noticed that I have a little bit of gap here. You can cut it with your scissors. And then I just make sure it's even all the way to the sides. All right, I think we're good. If that bothers you, I don't know if that's gonna bother anybody else, but sometimes you can see the back side of these papers. Just wanted to mention that. And don't worry if it moves around. When it goes into the laminator, it may move around again, so you're just gonna to have to be patient. And that's one thing for this process is patience. Okay, when you put them in the laminator, they will move a little, so here we go. I'm 
you may have to laminate these multiple times because sometimes I find that there's little uh, air pockets in between. Like I can tell already, I'm gonna have to laminate it again and hopefully it'll seal it a little bit better. I don't know if it's the laminator, I don't know if it's the sheet, but I do notice, oops, that it happens. Okay, and then I'll let it go once it gets to a stable place. Okay, so here's what I was going to talk to you about, and it's hard for me to show it to you, but there is some air pockets, so I'm going to put it in one more time. The reason why I bring up the air pockets is when you go to trim your envelopes, it's going to unhinge the sides. And sometimes what I'll do is laminate the envelopes after I cut it and see if I can seal it again like a third or fourth time. Okay, let me show you another sheet. Try to load in the paper center-wise so that it doesn't laminate the edges together like double folded on the sides so i have my two laminating sheets i'm going to show you what i do to cut them up the next step is cutting them up First, I'm gonna do right straight in the middle, and then I'm gonna do the tops where I need to open them. That's why it's very important to know where the tops are for these envelopes. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll let them go in the laminator, one of them, while I cut the other. Okay. So I know that the tops are here so I'm going to cut at the line so I can open them up. Let me show you, see? Gonna keep cutting while that's laminating, and then I probably go ahead and laminate these again, just to be sure I can seal it the best that I can. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let those go through. Cut this in the middle. Then I'm gonna do the tops first, so I know where the opening's at. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can see how I do the sides. All right. So normally I was cutting around this mark, which was about three eighths of an inch. However, in order for it to fit in the box, I had to cut it a little bit more. So I'm going to go to the side and it's probably anywhere from uh, a quarter of an inch. I'm going to show you the edge cutting. You're gonna to have to be very careful because if you cut too close, you will open it back up. So this is about 3 eighths of an inch. Now, if you were to do that all the way around, it's not gonna fit in this box. So I'm gonna go in a little bit more and eyeball it. So that's one side. At the bottom, I definitely do 3 eighths of an inch. bring this in so this is cut and I may put it in the laminator just so I can seal it a little bit better 
I'm gonna cut this at 3 8 of an inch so I can compare the sizes to you in the box. Okay, so this envelope has 3 8 of an inch border. This one has about a quarter of an inch. So when I put the envelope in it, it goes in very tightly. If you cut it down just a tad bit more, it'll go in perfectly. So just a little tidbit, okay? Bam. So I'm gonna keep going with laminating it and cutting them down. end product and that's going to be a hundred envelopes in this box and I wanted to show you the different designs so here is one of them before I stuff them this is one of my favorites and they're double-sided with different um, printings That was on the back side of the this design. See how smoothly they go in there. As I mentioned before, people are going to buy the stickers to put on the envelopes. I've decided to use my challenge so that I can track what numbers I've uh, completed. I have the money right here okay so let's start off with the 100 I'm gonna push this to the side I'm gonna do 100 so I'm gonna fold it And there we go, our very first envelope cash stuffing. I'm almost done filling these up. Just wanted to quickly check in. This is what it looks like so far. One, two, three, four. Let's do the 14. 14 is one of my lucky numbers. This video helps anyone who's watching. Let's do a five. Twenty, forty, sixty-five, six, six, sixty-seven. I'm just gonna pick a random card. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for doing this. It was a lot of work. I had the supplies, most of it, but um, it was definitely a lot of work, and that's why I have these band-aids. Sorry if that was an eyesore for you. So we are done with the 100 envelope challenge and this is what the paper looks like on one side and then you have the other side. So I just wanted to quickly show you that. Okay, we are done with the 100 envelope challenge. I've stuffed over 20 envelopes. My goal is to finish this challenge in 2022. It's gonna help with my home. It's gonna help with savings. There'll be a link in my description box to my 100 envelope challenge. 
for the $5,050 one. There is an alternative for $2,750. That link will also get you to other creators who have savings challenges, products, stuff like that. So feel free to browse the site. I hope this video was informative and I appreciate your time watching me create these lovely envelopes. Talk to you soon. Bye guys.